In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Hello everyone. As we gather together to celebrate these Easter mysteries, let us gather together in the joy of the risen Lord. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us call to mind our sin. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Elders decided to choose delegates to send to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The whole church concurred with this. They chose Judas, known as Barsabbas, and Silas, both leading men in the Brotherhood, and gave them this letter to take with them. The Apostles and Elders, your brothers, Send greetings to the brothers of pagan birth in Antioch, Syria and Cilicia. We hear that some of our members have disturbed you with their demands and have unsettled your minds. They acted without any authority from us, and so we have decided unanimously to elect delegates and to send them to you with Barnabas and Paul, men we highly respect, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Accordingly, we are sending you Judas and Silas, who will confirm by word of mouth what we have written in this letter. It has been decided by the Holy Spirit and by ourselves not to saddle you with any burden beyond these essentials. You are to abstain from food sacrificed from idols, from blood, from the meat of strangled animals and from fornication. Avoid these and you will do what is right. Farewell. The party left and went down to Antioch, where they summoned the whole community and delivered the letter. The community read it and were delighted with the encouragement it gave them. The Word of the Lord. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, praise you among the nations, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, May your glory shine on earth. Alleluia, alleluia. The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John.
Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants any more, because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends, because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my Father. You did not choose me, no, I chose you. And I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. Whatever I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. We all need a bit of praise when we have done something that has been asked of us and we've achieved it maybe with the best effort and hopefully success. And somebody notices and says, well done, that's a good job. It makes us feel better. It lifts us. It helps us go on to the next task to fulfill what maybe is expected of us or something that we just wish to do. So it was, it seems, with the early church, as they listened, the church in Antioch, as they listened to the words of Paul and Barnabas, given to them by Judas and his mate, can't remember his name now, um, Silas, as they went to give them a message of goodwill, a message of hope. And we hear right at the end of the first reading, the community read the letter and were delighted with the encouragement it gave them. Delighted because they were being reassured that they were members of God's community, reassured that they were doing the right things in the midst of the early church, that they were bearing fruit, as Jesus had asked them in our gospel today. The biggest command though, I suppose, that they had to do was to do what Jesus said, to love one another as he had loved them. Ultimately, that is the challenge of all of us, and it is many ways, in many ways, our main commission, to love one another as God loved us. So let us turn to the Lord with our needs and petitions this day. We pray for the church, that in all it does, it may always carry out the will of God to love one another as God loves us. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for the nations we pray for those parts of our world which are struggling to cope with this deadly virus. That the privileged world will reach out and extend its knowledge and its riches with those most in need. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for ourselves in our journeys of faith. That we may bear with gladness the commission that we have been given by the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who are sick and those who have to bear the illness that they have, that they may be given comfort in the midst of their need. Lord, in your mercy, 
We pray for those who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time. Mary O'Brien, for whom we offer this Mass. We pray for families who grieve and mourn, that they may be given comfort in the hope of the resurrection and the life. Lord, in your mercy. And let us ask for the prayers of Mary, Mother of the Church, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is Lord for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accept in the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfilment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation showed himself the priest the altar and the lamb of sacrifice therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Mary O'Brien, for whom we offer this Mass, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, Saint Bernadette, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacraments of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into their hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hope you're all well and keeping safe and have a lovely day. The weather looks lovely again this morning. Whether you are maybe going back to work, especially keep safe. And um, for those of you still at home, um, maybe not for much longer. Maybe we have come through um, the, um, the longest of these days and trust that maybe we can gather again in St. John's and St. Bernadette's whenever we're allowed to do. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.